In this round, here's Quanell X. Charles, there's a very disturbing article, man, that I read in the New Yorker. And this article is disturbing to me because it talks about how the present generation of our young people and now people of our age group also are redefining normal traditional roles and relationships. It's no longer the traditional monogamous relationship between a man and a woman. It's now, in my opinion, the old school guys call it an orgy. But now it's called polyamorous or polyramous or something like that. You're a little better than what I am. <laughs> but these couples now are f two couples together who decide to be in a relationship and they swap wives and they share men and they share women and the men probably share one another and the women share one another. It's sick. It's madness. We have completely in this nation lost our moral sense of shame. And if this is how people are going to live, you got a right to live like that. But now to promote that is something that should be celebrated and applauded, something that we should really try to understand and accept, it's despicable and disgraceful to me. Charles, how can a married man that truly loves his wife agree to get in a relationship to where you watch another man lay his meat to your wife? If that's your wife and you love your wife, how can you be a real man and watch this man make your wife bend over and touch all 10 and yet you gonna watch that and claim you love her to death do us part any woman that's got a husband like that you ain't got a husband you got a damn fool that's masquerading as a husband what woman would be willing to just sit back and watch your husband have sex with another woman and don't have a problem with that that ain't polyamorous that's nothing but a damn orgy, period. Okay, well, I, I think if you read, it was actually, I believe, the New York Magazine, not the New Yorker Magazine. But if you read the article, I was shocked at some of the language, right? There was ethical non-monogamy and unethical non-monogamy, which I guess is just cheating. And there was polyamory. And it focused on something called a polycule, which is like a foursome, two heterosexual couples that have open, like, they, the husband and the other wife, and then they bring other people in. But I don't necessarily think it's all in the same room. I think they're just living very distinct lives. Personally, I don't care. Does was, it matter if it's the same room on. or not? Uh, but personally, I, I don't wouldn't care. care if it was the room next look, door. Look. You hear your wife over there screaming to the top of her lungs because some other dude over there going balls deep, and you sitting there talking about, well, you know, we're just living our best life now. Okay, we just off, we we just living freestyle if, if, now. If people are happy doing, I I couldn't deal with it. I have far more problems. I don't know if you saw on social media last week a musician named Zeddy blew up because he had a joint baby shower for his five, I believe five, might have been four, I think five pregnant girlfriends. Right now, there, I think clearly you're going to have a resource issue. Even though it looked like he had about half a million followers and had a building a good career, you're going to have a father time issue, right? Broken home from the outset. I have problems with that, right? I think we need more fathers, especially black fathers in the home, and we need to stop having so many children out there with broken homes. But if people want to do this stuff, if they want to, you know, if someone like, do you do you think Muslim men shouldn't have multiple wives? That's a whole different reality. Well, but I because, mean, because wait a minute, there's a lot there's of people some, in your no, faith wait a minute, that think it's okay. But wait a minute, there's serious rules attached to that. Okay. And in fact, you must go before a Muslim council of scholars. But again, you're to, not answering wait the question. Wait a minute, to be permitted to do that, they ain't going before nobody. They just hooking up. Okay. Doing this. So if you went there's to some church, serious rules in the Muslim and religion. the church said, okay, so these Mormons that have like 15 young wives, that's okay. It's biblically accepted. Okay. So it's okay. Not, not to marry little kids, it, though. It's not okay. to marry young girls, it's though. Actually, and exploit actually, and rape young children actually, in the name of religion. Actually, I disagree with that. If that you ain't look religion. At both the Old Testament and, more importantly, the Koran, you see a lot of support for very old men and young women. I think it's disgusting. But young girls, well, Charles, actually. There are a lot of but, old but men again, today that but date again, young women. But again, they're all called monsters. They all because I don't that, want nothing over money. They all flew on that Jeffrey Epstein. I don't want nothing but over here's money. The thing. How so, many old, so just old to be men really clear, want an old woman? Just to be clear, what you're saying How many is, old women want an old What you're man? saying is a bunch of hipster New Yorkers getting their polycule on, that's bad. But as a Muslim, if you go to your, your temple 
and you convince some other Muslims with a bunch of wives that you want to go bang five or six chicks, right, and call them all your wives. Don't work like that. Oh, yeah. It absolutely no, it works like not. that. There's restrictive laws in place. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, my and also, God. Let me finish. Why? And her parents. So and the woman's crap. parents are involved. Women and are your treated. parents involved also. I think. So, no, it ain't that easy like you talking, brother. Okay. There's some serious Women restrictive law in place. Women are most of the, the Muslim-dominated world. Women are treated as less than, right? And they are like forced in America. Into, they are forced to no, like not in at America. all. Not at all like because in America. Because America guilty of the same uh, crime. No, they are not, right? America's and you are talking about women treated, treated women. like chattels. America's but always that's reduced okay women with to you second-class citizens. Because you're Muslim. And women still fight for white America women, right now today. If women want to have sexual freedom, oh my God, that's that's Quanell judging it. It's a bunch now, of nonsense. Let me you're ask you nothing a question, but Charles. a hypocrite. So what you're saying to me? And a sexist misogynist. Wait a minute. So what you're saying to me? Talk to me. Is that now you're a married man? Mm -hmm. Do you really believe any married man that will permit that with his wife truly loves that woman? I, I can't judge other people. What I want it? I hell no. Ask you. But there are plenty of men that do. And, do, and you know and what? That ain't no Good man. For them. That ain't no man. But, well, by That's what a metric? clown masquerading by what as a man. By what metric? Let so me it's okay. Charles. Again, just to be clear for the audience, it's okay for a dude to have 10 wives. Especially if he's Muslim. That's not what we're talking but about it's here. Not, I, well, I'm talking about it. And let me say this to you. But it's not okay for a chick Any man to have with two ten husbands. wives is a fool. Okay. So, because even the scripture says one wife is better for you if you but new. Okay. Hey, yeah, you so, can't deal with the one wife so, you got. How the hell are you going to get ten? Uh, okay. So despite the fact that there's an overwhelming number of men with multiple wives in the Middle East, right? And you support that. But you, how about women? Should women be able to have multiple husbands? I disagree with that. Well, what's the difference? Because my position is... What's a, the it, difference? Let me finish. My position is a scriptural one based on Bible oh and Quran. Oh, my God. Your, and your position... neither Bible nor Quran your, nor the Torah your promotes women having is, multiple husbands. is misogyny. It is treating women like chattel. Say what you want to say, chattel. but no religious book that I've ever read promotes women sleeping okay. with multiple different men. So, so men can or bang, marrying them. Men can bang all the chicks they want. No, you don't work like but that. But women can. not That's called fornication and adultery. Okay. Men should not do that. Okay. So, you know, wait, you don't fornicate? Excuse me? You, you didn't fornicate outside of marriage? Not now. Okay. But when I was a young man, okay. yes. All when right. When I was a teenager, okay. yes. So, so, and, and you fornicated with multiple women? When I was a teenager, and I was a did young that man, make yes. you? A, did that make you a whore? But wait a minute. Did that make you a I whore? I follow my religion. Did that make you a whore? Yeah, absolutely, I was a whore. Okay. But I was not following my religion. And does that make you Any less of man, a man? Yes, it does. Okay, well, it, so when you talk Let about it off camera, why. it makes yes, it, it seem does. like you I'm think you was you a why. big swing I'm going to tell you why. In the Quran, it says this. Oh, my God. Marriage is half a man's faith. Okay. The you, whole, you're the half the man is, God makes you to the be truth until is you have a wife. The only reason you care about this is because it's women banging multiple dudes. No, it's a woman. Because it's a, a man watching another yeah, man bang his wife.